What's going on everybody? We are getting ready to start the uh, 2023 uh, Elite Series season. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is and who are just clicking on this video because of the title, uh, this is my 2022 Toyota Tundra 1794 edition and this is a 40,000 mile review. I actually have 42,780 miles on this thing but Nonetheless, we have 40,000 miles, and most of these are towing miles. Most of these are towing along the interstate from literally coast to coast, um, towing about a 2,400 pound bass boat, as well as all of my equipment and gear, and of course, dogs. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know, um, you know, the positives and negatives. I've been getting a lot of questions, especially at launch ramps. Uh, when I'm launching my boat, people ask, you know, how do you like that Tundra? How does it tow? Um, and I'll just go over uh, kind of real quick. Um, first thing, I, I absolutely love this interior. I think this is the fifth generation Tundra. I'm not quite sure. But as you can see, um, I've got a uh, twin panel uh, roof. So it's a glass uh, kind of sunroof here. That's one of my favorite features of this whole interior. Um, and it's just a really plush interior. This is a 1794, so everything is really nice, real plush here. 13.1 uh, inch uh, display screen here, and of course I could CarPlay everything. Uh, I got my Google Maps, uh, makes it real easy. I got uh, all my music, um, Bluetooth integration, all that stuff uh, works really, really well. Um, and it's just a nice kind of feeling I got heated seats I got cooled seats all that um, just a really nice truck all the way around pretty much all the features that most modern trucks have um, this thing's equipped with uh, kind of a, another nice thing here my trucks kind of a mess uh, but uh, I ordered this with a safe so I could put all my valuables in here whenever I'm uh, traveling from uh, ramp to ramp uh, we visit a lot of shady ramps uh, all across the country so it's nice to be able to lock stuff up but uh, as you can see here this display this cockpit area is really nice um, I like every pretty much everything about this truck and um, this is really nice here uh, not only do you have your um, you know two-wheel drive four-wheel drive four low all that stuff um, but you have these different drive modes and of course when I'm towing um, I put it in tow haul here and that kind of boosts up the V6 uh, turbo engine and it, and it shifts at different, uh, at higher RPM so it keeps that bass boat moving. Um, and of course over here it indicates that you are in tow haul mode. Um, but when I'm not towing, just driving around, there's this nice little drive mode button. And as I turn this dial here, as you can see on the dash, uh, there it goes from custom to sports, uh, sports S plus to sport, uh, just normal driving conditions. But you can see how on here it shows like the suspension changing. Uh, there's an eco mode where the transmission um, keeps it at low RPMs as we're cruising, cruising along. Um, so that's kind of cool. Different drive modes on the dash here. You've got your um, your turbo. That's your iForce turbo indicator here in PSI. Um, over here, uh, distance to empty, all that stuff. 13.5 miles per gallon. I literally just drove from um, Florida to Texas yesterday and it's showing 13.5 miles per gallon. I wasn't towing, but on the way there, I was towing. And, um, you know, I think that's the number one question that people ask is, you know, what are the, uh, what kind of fuel mileage are you getting, miles per gallon are you getting while towing? And uh, in that uh, tow haul mode, in that um, tow haul plus mode, I really like it because it's real pe peppy. Um, I just drove from Dallas-Fort Worth area all the way to the panhandle of, te of, uh, of Florida, 14-hour uh, drive, and I had uh, exactly 9.0 miles per gallon. So nine miles per gallon, I drive pretty fast, um, so that uh, take that in consideration. But day in and day out, you'll get nine to nine point two miles per gallon while towing just a twenty four hundred pound or so bass boat uh, along the interstate. Um, and then you know, not towing around town on the freeway, you'll see anywhere from thirteen to fourteen and a half, maybe uh, maybe sometimes even fifteen miles per gallon. 
Um, so love everything about this. The transmission, you cannot even feel this thing shifting gears, even when you're towing a boat off the line. I mean, this thing's like super smooth. The RPM stay within like that two to uh, two to 3,200 RPMs and it just cruises along no problem. So really, really nice there. Um, overall, it's been an awesome truck. You know, again, 42,000 miles. And I know, you know, the way these things are built, I know um, that this thing will last, you know, for, you know, another probably 400,000 miles. And it's just a really smooth truck overall. I did have one issue uh, about at the 10,000 mile mark. I had this weird thing where my battery was dying and it's just the, the standard cranking battery. Uh, but I have to give props to Toyota uh, I took it to the uh, local dealership there and they diagnosed everything uh, and it just turns out it was a dead battery. Uh, it was just a faulty battery from the get-go. Uh, there wasn't any alternator issues, nothing like that. It was just a, a faulty battery. They put a new battery in it and everything's been good to go. So overall, you know, here in Texas, we have, you know, sub 32 degree days. So we have freezing days uh, and this thing starts up every single time, of course. Um, everything you'd expect from a, uh, you know, a Toyota truck. So uh, this is my third uh, Toyota Tundra and this is by far the best Tundra I've ever owned. So uh, just wanted to kind of give you guys a uh, breakdown of, of, you know, how the first 40,000 miles have been and they've been completely awesome. So I'm about to uh, hook this thing up to my bass boat here and uh, get to packing for the season. Uh, we start out in Florida, so we're going to do another 16-hour drive in a couple of days here. So, But if you're thinking about getting a Toyota, a Tundra, uh, or even a Sequoia um, for towing a bass boat, whether you're towing on tour like I am or you're just like a weekend warrior, um, you know, make sure you check out, uh, if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, um, check out all the uh, Gilchrist Automotive um uh, dealerships. They just picked up a Toyota dealership. So Stephen Gilchrist, uh, a good friend of Traits, um, and uh, and they do a, a phenomenal job at taking care of their customers. And I know I'll, I'll, I get all my trucks from them, and I will uh, continue to get all my trucks from them. So check out Southwest, uh, Southwest uh, Toyota, Southwest Ford, all that stuff. The Gilchrist Automotive guys are, are really really awesome. So. Um, as I back this up here, I'm backing up to my bass boat now. It just makes everything a breeze. It's almost like they had the uh, fishermen in mind uh, when uh, when they developed this truck. All the little all the little knickknacks and things uh, really benefit uh, the fishermen, the outdoorsmen, the guy who uh, picks up, you know lines his trailer up on the weekends all the time uh, and tows around. I mean, this thing is an absolute beast. Uh, when it comes to uh, you know towing uh, towing your toys. So speaking of towing, uh, you see that accordion looking cylinder back there? Automatic airbags. And what what's nice about that, especially for a guy towing, um, it's an automatic leveling system uh, on this truck here. So as I you know crank down my bass boat here, go ahead and line it up on the ball. and I'm putting all that weight on the hitch of this truck, I want you to listen to that automatic airbag leveling system. So I just put all the pressure and weight down on the back of this truck. It's a half ton truck. Listen to that. Listen to that air pump. It's an automatic air pump that is now leveling, raising up the trailer. That way your headlights aren't, you know, absolutely blinding the oncoming traffic here. So it levels out the whole truck. So it's really nice to have that. You don't have to, you know, put air in the airbags at all. It's all automatic. It's all nice. It's all clean. Also for the fishermen, I got a litter cap here. This thing's got a six and a half foot long bed, which means, you know, our, our bass rods are seven foot, seven and a half, eight foot bass rods. They fit uh, diagonally. In the top corner there, they fit really nice uh, in the back of that bed if you have a cap on like that. So just a nice option. It's kind of a medium sized bed. I believe they have an eight foot bed as well, but a six and a half foot bed is just a great option for a, for a bass fisherman. You see, I got my old tires on here, uh, 1794 wheels. I just replaced them with the all black ones. So this thing looks killer. 
Uh, I know that's a lot of talking. If you guys made it this far through the video, um, I appreciate you watching and uh, we will see you at the next one. We'll see you on tour. Excellent truck. I highly recommend it. It's just nice to get away from the diesel, especially with the diesel prices the way they are. Um, it's just an absolute great towing truck, especially for a V6. So thanks for watching, you guys. Appreciate it. We'll see you at the next one.